Hi again, welcome back. In this video we're going to set up the project structure for the Space Invaders game. We're going to be using Webpack to compile the source files into an output directory from which the source will run. If you look at the description of this video, you will see a link to the live server where the code is running. You'll also see a link to the GitHub release. So if you want, you can check out this code, run it on your computer, see the files and follow along with what I'm saying. Okay, now let's go through the project structure together and compile it. So we have the files checked out from GitHub. You can see two commits here and we are at the head, which means that we are our files here are pointing to the commit structure here. So we have our webpack config here, which uses a validator and then loads in a source webpack config. What this is going to do is it's going to we specify these paths here and we reuse, reuse them. Our entry point is this TypeScript file and we have an output which will go to our build directory. We want to use um, two loaders. Loaders are basically, it looks at files of a specific extension or pattern and applies a transformer to it. This will eventually get into your head. It took me a while. We have a loader for CSS, which will take CSS and bundle them into the JavaScript output file instead of the HTML file having to load the CSS you know, manually. It, what we're doing with Webpack is bundling all together. So the browser only makes one request. And we have this uh, Webpack plugin here, which will generate an HTML file and point to the output of Webpack. Okay, we have our git ignore, which tells git not to commit these files. You don't want to include node modules or your build directory or IDE specific files into GitHub because nobody cares about them. We have a boring license. We have our bog standard package JSON. We have our dependencies for Webpack and the rest. Yeah, read me TS config. I yeah. have a question. What's TypeScript? TypeScript? Oh, good question. TypeScript is a, a superset of JavaScript. Ah, I see. It's a superset of JavaScript. What does that mean? Well, it basically means it's the, the same stuff as what JavaScript has, except it has some extra functionality like Strong typing and interfaces I'm not so sure. and things it isn't like that. JavaScript, is it? Because it's got extra syntax. Should we not use frameworks? I think this is a bad idea. Now let's compile this to see if it works. To run a Webpack build, you when you have Webpack installed globally, all you do is you type Webpack. So that worked, and we have this build directory. We have this index file that's generated from uh, a template in our, our source directory. So if you compare these two files, so you can see that in the one on the left, the only thing that's changed is there's a reference to the JavaScript, which is built by Webpack. And it uses this number here to stop caching in the browser, which is a really nice feature. The output of all the, of all the JavaScript, uh, don't worry about all this stuff because this is Webpack generated code, but you can see that uh, we have our own code in here. If we look at, this is our, our complicated application. We have an alert function, and this is a TypeScript file, which then gets bundled into webpack and it's in here now let's see if this thing runs so we're just going to open this up in the browser okay so it works and we have this wonderful html page we have a white background and some black text 
and this will be the, the structure for our, our game. So in our game, we're going to render the content, the Space Invaders content, to this canvas here. And that's it, so next time we'll start to make things, the game loop and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this, it isn't the most exciting stuff, maybe a bit boring, but we have to have a strong foundation and this is the way I'm coding here is the same way I would do in a professional environment. So I hope this is uh, connecting. Bye.